All right, this is the second part to the 8.6 notes. So if you have not watched part one, you need to go back and watch part one. You won't understand what I'm talking about otherwise. Okay, so we just thought, found that that was the initial point, and those two numbers there gave us the slope. So we found our initial point to be 3, negative 4, and our slope to be 5 over 2. So I'm going to redraw this very quickly. 3, negative 4, then up 5 over 2. So we had a guy something like that. All right. So our next task, we were left off on part C, is to sketch a new line that contains point 2, 3 and is parallel. So obviously we know that they're going to have the same slope then. So this is going to contain point 2, 3, so there-ish, very-ish, and then up 5 over 2. And we need to write a new parametric based on that line. <clears throat> well, based on what we know from before, given that this was our initial point here, I'm thinking maybe the 2, 3, the initial point of the new line, needs to go in that same spot. Hint, hint. And since they're parallel and they have the same slope, I'm thinking that that should probably look the same to give me my new slope. So the new parametric should look like, let me scale this down so you can see. Should be x equals and y equals. I always write my parametrics up and down because, as I'm going to tell you in a minute, they kind of, kind of naturally go up and down. But um, the first thing you have is the point, 2, 3, and see how they kind of go up and down. That's the initial point. And then you're actually going to talk about the slope, which is 2 in the x direction and 5 in the y direction. <clears throat> this is actually a vector. Um, the 2, 5 is a vector that all the lines that are parallel to this will follow. So if you thought about the vector in standard position, 2, 5, let me graph that. Shoop. All of the parallel lines and parametric lines, well, parametric equations of lines, would be parallel to that vector, 2, 5. So that's just kind of something to think about as we, and I don't want to give too much away because you're going to be doing an investigation in a moment more about parallel vectors, perpendicular vectors, etc. Um, all right, we need to now write the line in slope-intercept form. And we're actually going to write, it's not very specific, we're going to write the new line in slope, I'm sorry, in point-slope form. So we know that's y minus y1, well, our first point was 3, equals m, our slope, 5 halves times x minus x1. There you have it. Ding, ding, ding. Point slope and parametric go together really nicely because in parametric you have your point and you have your slope. Same thing with point slope. It's very clearly mapped out. Your slope and your point, and you're good to go. All right, and um, this says with a partner, but you might not have a partner at home that you're doing this with. So what I want you to do now is I want you to take a moment, pause the video, and I want you to do example number two. All right, I have also done uh, example number two. It says consider the line given by the parametric equation negative 8 plus 12t and negative 3 plus 7t. I knew that meant that the point, the initial point, was negative 8, negative 3, and my vector was 12, 7, meaning the, uh, this has been changing in the x direction by 12, and changing in the y direction by 7, so that would give me a rise over run, a slope of 7 over 12. Please note, when you have these vectors, when you find the uh, slope, they kind of switch because it's rise over run. It's y over x. All right, then it says sketch a new line. So I sketched the red one. Uh, that is number 2. I sketched that. And I sketched a new one at negative 4, 1 that's parallel to it, so it still has a slope of 7 twelfths. Um, I'm not going to lie. I sketched this very, very quickly, so I'm actually not positive if the blue one is over the red one or if it's underneath, but... It gives me an approximate. Um, so then I wanted to um, write the equation. So I have my initial point of negative 4, 1. This should be positive. I just saw that. Positive 1. Um, and then, and again, I write them up and down. So I started, let me get this going here. Uh, 
up and down. So I started my X and my Y first. Then I wrote my initial point. Then my vector, 12, 7, which is my slope. So my vector there. And you get your parametric equation. What this means, remember, is that every single line that has this form will be parallel to the vector 12, 7, having a slope of 7 twelfths. Okay, we are going to be doing the investigation while I've written all over this, the investigation tomorrow during class, so I hope this has been helpful.